Hey YouTube, this is Caleb with Asgard Tactical. I'm going to be doing a review on the V-Force profilers um, and do a couple a comparison with the other masks that we have here today. We have uh, Proflexes, KLRs, and I-Force. Um, I'll also give you my opinion on which one is the best, which obviously will be the profilers because that is my opinion. Um, what, com what it comes with, it comes with the profilers they do come stock with a single pane clear lens, which is a downside. Um, however, and the, and the lenses are like $30, so that, that kind of boosts too. Um, however, it does come with a visor and a, I guess this is a, a, full, a head guard, I don't know. But this thing, it goes on like that. Um, it also comes with a manual and uh, there's no earrings in here, but it comes with four small earrings that you put under, I'll show you on this, that you would put right there after you put it through the uh, vents at the top in order to hold it down, P-O-P, um, to keep it from coming out. Uh, it also comes with a chin strap, as Jack explained, nobody uses. Uh, and then it comes with a, a giant bag for no reason. Um, the profilers, I really like how they look. They look really kind of sleek and kind of come to a point which I really like. That's why I am a fan of I4s in some cases, some ways. Um, I have the chrome lens on it. It is dirty, so I do have to clean it, which I may probably won't do tonight probably do it tomorrow at the field. Um, the lens removal is really simple, except, you know, for the first time it is quite difficult. Um, in the lens, there is two tabs, two, um, the clips right here. You just push those in and the clips pop out. You do that on both sides and then you can pop this out and move forward or not forward, backwards, and then the lens can slide out. Um, uh, the foam is really comfortable. Uh, it's really, really soft. Uh, it, it feels like um, you want to think it's made out of cheap material, but it's, it feels like really good material. Um, sweating in it, because that's the problem, you don't want it running down in your face. It absorbs it pretty well. Um, better than Vios do, or I should say uh, Vios absorb it more, but the profilers absorb it better, if that makes sense. Um, the Vios usually, whenever you put the mask back on after you sweat in it, it'll kind of feel all wet around your face, and that's really nasty. Um, can I have to edit that. Oh well. Will work for Jack. Um, the strap, it's a really good strap, really comfortable on the back of your head with the uh, the gel squigglies that it has in it. Um, I'll go ahead and put it on. Uh, like I said, really comfortable. It's a lot of room. Um, it covers my chin and my jawline. Uh, however, I do have a fairly small face and head. Um, the lens is also really big, which I really like. Uh, it does have a really wide field of view. Um, I think it's 260 degrees, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have a lot of echo either. I can, I can speak and it pretty much sounds exactly the same. Um, I can also hear really, really well with, uh, the openings in the ear. Uh, whenever players are trying to communicate with me. Um, I'm going to compare them to the profilers first, or the proflexes, the proflexes, yeah, yeah, these are the profilers. Um, the proflexes, they, uh, they're really comfortable too. They, uh, again, you can't, they have really comfortable foam, but the foam in the profilers is a lot, uh, stiffer, I guess. Um, than the profiler foam. 
if I say profile, there's something new that means proflexes. Uh, the proflex foam is a lot uh, thicker, um, more tough than the uh, profiler foam. Um, uh, that's and basically this is rubber, so you're obviously going to be able to hear or to speak better and then hear better through this one. Uh, one thing that I don't like about the KLRs, I do like how they look. I will agree with Jack that that looks that they look really nice. Um, however, he did mention it. The foam it does feel really cheap whenever you wear it, and um, after wearing the profilers for a while, I'm used to the kind of open in my mask, and whenever I put on the KLRs. It's, I feel uh, kind of enclosed, if in, in a way, if that makes sense. And uh, comparing with the Dye Force, like I said, I like when masks come to a point. I just, I think that that makes them look better. Um, these are comfortable. The, uh, the I4 foam and the Profiler foam are pretty much the same. Uh, so if you like how I4 fits, but you just want a little bit more room, then the Profilers would be an excellent choice. Um, however, you can't hear well in the iForce, and it, there is a bit more echo. Um, like I'm talking now, and I can hear the echo in the background. Um, but yeah, and the, they're pretty comfortable. I usually, wearing the iForce though, I get headaches um, and pressure on the back of my head from these uh, the two, um, what should it be called? I guess adjusters yeah from the two adjusters and because it doesn't have the gel squiggly lines like the profilers do it kind of puts pressure against the back of my head and after a game or two I'll start getting a headache so that's that's a downside to that um but yeah if you have any questions let us know um like comment subscribe all that jazz check us out on Facebook at a uh, Facebook.com slash Asgard Tactical. Um, yeah, it's real. Whoop whoop. There's no point. Don't. Ugh. Hey, YouTube. This is Caleb with Asgard Tactical. I'm. I freaking hate you. I'm going to throw your geo at you. Okay. I'll catch it. Really? Put it back. Wait, you know I'll throw it.